Hey besties, let's do an entire skincare routine that's obviously very excessive. I would never use all these products in one night, but tonight I just want to use them all. So let's do it together. First, we're going in with the Coco Kind AHA Jelly Cleanser. Reading the directions. Okay, as everybody should. I am going to moisten my face with cool water using clean hands. Also, what do we think of the braids? I really like these. I wore them to work today. Well, outside of my social media work, clearly. Subscribe to make that dream continue happen. But we're going to be lathering this in the hands and then scrub in the face so once we have scrub scrub scrubbed we're gonna rinse again with cool water but i would like to preface that this is said to be an exfoliating cleanser so the directions say to only use this three to five times per week which is why obviously i'm doing this excessive routine <laughs> once right now for you guys in the video so i've rinsed my face with the cool water we are drying our skin with a washcloth a clean washcloth and once our skin is as dry as we can get it we'll flip the braids back look at the next thing on my list and check in with my skin i'll show you guys how my face looks after each product next i'm diving into the sea kale clay mask i have two masks that i'm going to be doing tonight and obviously i'll read the directions on both now we're popping this open just to find it's a little dirty because i actually use this product a ton and i'm just gonna squeeze it onto my hands and you know the drill lather it into the hands and fingertips before applying it to the skin and honestly i'd love to share this with you guys the reason i do this is mainly because i feel like whenever i put it across my hands and fingertips i can really mold my hands to my face and get in all the nooks and crannies of my nose and you know my eyes etc so obviously avoiding super close contact with the eyes on this mask but yeah it just feels really good to be able to know that i've got full coverage with any product I'm using so I like to apply it like that and this is what is left now we are just going to sit and wait it says to wait 20 minutes but it actually only took my skin around 10 to 15 minutes for this layer to dry off so next we are going to be rinsing this mask with cool water period <laughs> and this is what it looks like halfway through i wanted to show you guys that it's very very easy to forget or not notice that you've left behind parts of this mask on your face so be sure when you're rinsing if you do use this mask you are in front of a mirror or something so you could see your skin to make sure you're wiping away all of the product before moving on to the next we've got to dry off the skin as much as possible before going in with our next mask so hand fans activate this is what we look like after the sea kale clay mask she's giving glowing honestly i'm really in love with how this makes my skin look and feel our next mask is the coco kind turmeric mask i should preface this is not an ad and none of this is sponsored i am simply a huge fan coco kind is a sustainable skincare brand so and little review this smells so heavily like turmeric if you know the smell of turmeric you'll know what i'm talking about but i just i love that scent especially because i used to work at a juice bar and turmeric was a very popular add-on in smoothies for the anti-inflammatory effects I'm assuming this mask is supposed to have some sort of similar effect because turmeric is a very popular anti-inflammatory, but I don't want to dive too much into the specifics of the benefits. Homer Simpson who, mainly because I am not a dermatologist and this is just something that, you know, is a hobby of mine. I genuinely love skincare and just love how this product feels. So if you're more interested on the specifics behind any of the products I'm using, please, please, please check out Coco Kind's Instagram. Once again, reading the directions just to make sure I got things correct. But after I've fully applied it, we're going to wait for another 10 to 15 minutes. After those 10 to 15 minutes, it does seem like the mask got a little bit more pigmented. I feel like it's a bit more yellow than it was before. So 
Now we're gonna rinse. You'll probably need to get some makeup wipes to remove all of this. And yes, I have noticed that this does leave a bit of a yellow hue after you use this mask. So honestly, I think this is because I used a little too much of the product. But you'll see that this does go down within the rest of the routine after I finish other steps. And it's definitely gone by the morning. So no worries with the staining. And then we're going in with the Desert Essence Thoroughly Clean Face Wash. This is a face wash I have been using for so long oh got a little much tried to put it back in that did not work <laughs> oh my goodness but we're gonna lather this in the hands and like everything else use the lathered hands to wash and apply the product to the skin with this the directions say to wash for 60 seconds minimum so it's very very clear i think it even uses the word approximately so if you're somebody like me who is a sucker for the directions i set a timer and i wash my skin with this for approximately 60 seconds and once that is all said and done i am going to go ahead and rinse the skin with cool water if not cold water i love rinsing my skin with cold water it's supposed to be great for closing your pores so that's just something i've learned to do and picked up on something funny to notice as well is that the turmeric mask is clearly starting to come off with my face wash since the face wash is turning just a little bit yellow i notice more right as i go around to rinsing my skin and rinsing this face wash off now we're gonna rinse things off and then come right back up with glowing skin my braids are wet <laughs> but that's a-okay because i'm wearing my skincare clothes 10 out of 10 recommend having clothes set aside for washing your face and your skin but that being said she's clear she's giving glossy she's giving she doesn't need to do anything else but she's going to anyways <laughs> so a quick little extra if you've made it this far here's a bonus if you will i'm going to be taking down my braids and adding a small hair care step to this routine it's something i would do to typically on heavy self-care days like this, so I thought I'd bring you along. I'm going in with the Scalp Love Rosemary Mint Serum, and this is something you can use just before you shower, or I like to use it as the overnight hair treatment. Both are in the directions, <laughs> so a-okay to do either or your way. I'm gonna be applying this once again overnight, so we're gonna apply a little bit heavier than I would just before a shower. I'd hate to waste any product, and that's kind of how I feel before doing it if I am about to shower, but all of that being said, now I'm going in with this Diane shampoo brush and just gonna really massage this into my scalp. I have to remind myself this is supposed to be a relaxing thing and not apply a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm someone who thinks, you know, if I'm scratching my scalp, then it must be doing more, but that's just not the case. You can be so gentle with yourself and gentle with your scalp and your hair and still see incredible results. So let's get it done. Let's continue massaging this into the scalp and move on to the next skin care routine step. With our hair back, everything looking amazing, feeling amazing, we are going to move on and dive in with the Coco Kind Turmeric Illuminating Solution. We go with three to five drops of this just because it's a bit liquidy. Oh, well, I missed my hand. <laughs> and once again, lather this into the hands, the palms. I like to go full hands with this one and press my hands and palms into my face. Really just let them melt into my skin so that once again, I feel like I'm covering all of my skin. And yet again, Coco Kind has done the damn thing. This smells so good. Definitely not as turmeric heavy as the turmeric mask. As you can see, it is not as yellow. And once again, we are going to activate the hand fans before applying our vitamin C glow serum. Also, you guys, I'm just loving how my camera is looking. I recorded this video with my iPhone and set my settings to 4K, so that's why things are looking sharp. It's not just my skin, okay? But now I'm applying three drops to the skin and face and then two drops to heavy drops. <gasps> Am I gonna notice? Oh, there we go. I noticed. 
So I'm gonna reapply another drop, but we've got two for the neck and then three for the actual face, eyes, and nose. And when I say eyes, I do apply these products to my eyelids and under eyes. I also sometimes get them on my lashes, but because Coco Kind has such trustworthy ingredients, in my opinion, I never mind getting this product on my eyelids and lashes and never feel like it does any harm. I feel like it may or may not be helping keep my eyelashes a bit fuller and healthier. Once the vitamin C serum is nice and dry, I'm gonna go in with the Coco Kind Resurfacing Sleep Mask. and. Please don't judge me, she is on her last leg, I know it, but we are going to just put this all over the skin and neck in a very thin layer. For this product, you guys, a little goes a long way. Once that is fully applied, we're going to be going in with the Coco Kind Revitalizing Eye Cream. Now with this, a little goes a long way as well. I've had this for a very long time. I just take some of the product, I got a little much now actually, <laughs> and I'm going to dab it into the skin with the tip of the applicator. This is one thing I love about their eye cream is they've got this metal end that stays cool and always feels good when you're applying. So. I'm just going to gently rub that in, not fully though, because here's a little spoiler. Next we're going in with moisturizer, and I really like to leave some of this to mix in with the moisturizer on the under eye. It's definitely a part of the routine to get product in my eye at this point, but happy to review that it never burns and never really hurts, it's just uncomfortable. Next, here's the moisturizer I use. It is the Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. It has got a celery super seed complex, but you guys, the smell, oh my gosh, it smells so heavily like cucumber. I'm almost positive there is some kind of cucumber agent in this moisturizer, but it just smells incredible, so that alone makes me happy to use it. But you can see that I do kind of rub this into my skin until I get to the eye area, and around the eyes and the outsides of the eyes, I really try to just gently pat this in and take care of that part of my skin very carefully. Remember that your eyelids and around your eyes are the thinnest parts of your face, so be very, very gentle with it and this is what the skin looks like after all of those steps so far and now my most used product if you can't tell the coco kind my matcha stick oh my goodness if you listen to the podcast i help co-host please don't look i use this so much that it's not pretty but you'll know that me and the ladies on that podcast are obsessed with this matcha stick right now i'm about to use it on my under eyes any place that I feel like it a little red. You'll see that I put it on the corners of my nose as well because I'll put it on places for redness as well as dryness. I noticed that the corners and the bottom of my snoot get very, very dry even with my moisturizing routine morning and night. So I apply that to the nose and the leftovers go on my lips. And now we're going with the Chia Facial Oil. This is the last step, you guys. If you made it this far, congratulations. You have seen the most extensive skincare routine possibly ever. This is the thinnest product, so we're gonna apply it last and it's going on the face and neck. Look at just how quickly it falls. It's almost like water. So we're going to put this on the lashes as well. Again, I feel like these are safe to apply to the lashes, but it doesn't say, you know, not to or to. So do with that information what you will. I just love how it makes my lashes feel and look as well as my skin. And here is the finished product. After all of these steps, we are going to moisturize the lashes and enjoy our skin. Thank you so much for all of your support, you guys. If you've made it this far, once again, take this as your sign. Take care of yourself, take care of your skin. I believe in you, you deserve it, your skin deserves it. And I suppose until next time, bye guys.